Hey yo, and welcome to another episode of Advanced Glitch Building. Today's gonna be something a little bit quick and a little bit different. It's gonna be more of a decoration than an actual building method. What I'm gonna teach you how to do is different ways in which you can trap a ball inside of a small spherical cage type thing and have it stay there and rotate and shake around and look look kind of like a uh, like a particle accelerator or maybe a, uh, I'm calling it a Heisenberg core because the little light that is on the ball that is generated kind of flickers around and it looks like there's a little uh, subatomic particle jumping around in there. So, let me show you how it works real quick. Probably should have filled these up before I started recording. Professional streamer. Been streaming a year, still don't know what the f I'm doing. Okay. So, does this one not have a button? There we go. See? And now it kind of just sits there and slowly rotates around. This one's a little bit more complicated right here because it requires you to measure out the size of a rescaled um, base teleporter to get uh, the exact size that you want. And this one over here does not. This one just contains it with some watertight doors and some, uh, I think a... I don't know, we'll get into it in a minute. Let me show you this one. This one makes it... Yeah, see? This one actually, if you light it a little bit better and you can't see this outside edge of the ball there, it doesn't look like there's anything in the center, but that little light that's kind of spinning around. So that's why I called this a, a particle core or a, a Heisenberg core. So anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start... Oh, wait, don't no, ignore that. Um, ignore this too. Ignore all this. Don't worry about this. This isn't here. That that can stay. Don't don't look at it though. This can go though. Okay. <clears throat> so to start, uh, you're gonna want to grab yourself a center wire. Do this by placing a garage door adjacent or around the spot where your large floor is going to have the center of your wire. Reverse wire glitch from this position here which is just green stating a, a floor in that position and then pressing your build item and your place item at the same time. Or, wow, I might be uh, dumb. Your build item and your toggle wiring button at the same time. Go ahead and pull that up to there and connect it. And then either from the front or the back, I would prefer the back, giggity, go ahead and reverse wire glitch from this position, a green stated item in this position, and pull back and connect to this bad boy right there like so. Bada bing, bada boom, you have a straight wire. And it's level, that's what you want. Okay, after this point, you're going to need to do a number of different things. You're going to grab a couple of different wire and connector points around this square here, but you also need to grab one upside down um, about one full wall, one large wall, and one short wall above this center point, which, again, not too hard if you know what you're doing. Go ahead and place your full wall and your short wall above it. Grab yourself a large wall, green state it in this position, and then adjacency glitch by pressing your build button and your cycle part button at the same time. From here, you're going to go ahead and grab a floor light, and you're going to, from this position, rotate it and make sure that the thick black bar is facing to the right. Go ahead and place that. Delete this. You can either use a, a small floor or a, a another light floor, but for the sakes of this, we'll just do this. Green state it in this position right next to the floor light, like so. Reverse wire glitch, and then connect it to this wire right now. Now, this wire's orientation is upside down, so all we need to do is grab another wire and connect it to that wire from a parallel position, and regardless of how we reverse wire, like this position right here is upright, but if we reverse wire and then connect this wire to this one, this entire wire is going to adopt the orientation of what you connected it to. So now, this whole wire is upside down which is exactly what we want, bada bing, bada boom. So we can delete that stuff, delete all that stuff. And this position here is exactly where we're going to put our ball generator, the thing that generates a ball or a sphere if you're uh, uh, gonna be an asshole about it. So there's that. Next, we actually don't need that there, that was just for show, you're welcome. Next, we're going to grab a bunch of wire connection points around this open square we have now. Uh, first one we're gonna go ahead and grab is in this direction here like so then we're going to place a short wall here and here so we can grab 
a, a wire end connector at these corners here, which is fairly simple with these lovely extruded wall caps. So place them, green state them in the top position because there are uh, two different, three different positions, sorry, for each just short wall. So make sure you're at the top position so your wire isn't down below, but this is a little good bit of information to know. If you ever want something that's down and away from a center wire you have, you can use this down and away from your center wire at a 45 degree angle from your center wire. You can use these to do it without having to place a wall and reverse wiring from the base of it and all that stuff. But anyway, so you want it in the top position, reverse wire and connect that bad boy to your center. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Just, just kidding. Uh, joking. Haha. <laughs> uh, go ahead and connect it to this one, uh, and then do it the uh, the opposite side and do that. All we need, we don't need a wire connecting these two points. We just need this wire end point here because we're going to be blender glitching items into this center point here. Um, so we can go ahead and delete these. And um, oh yes, we need. We also need a point on this side here. So go ahead and reverse wire from a short wall or a full wall on each side like this and then connect to these wires here. Don't don't connect into the center. We want to keep as few connection points to this center as possible, um, or as few wires connected to the center point as possible so that uh, when we're blender glitching into it, we, you know, 90% of the time know exactly how the, the positioning of the thing's gonna go. And once you have this set up right here, you're pretty much ready to go um, with the experimentation. And why I say it's experimentation is because I messed around with this bad boy here and the other one that I just deleted for the purposes of this tutorial, I messed around with them for well over a week and there is uh, absolutely no way to build a structure like this and have it work 100% of the time. It's just impossible. That's why I call it the Heisenberg core is because it's completely unpredictable. Um, it will work a hundred times in a row. You'll save and reload and you'll come back in and push the button or pull the lever and it won't work. But I will show you the basic setup that I know that works very, very well about nine out of 10 times. Um, and you can do what I've done and experiment around with it. Maybe you all can find, you know, uh, the perfect, the perfect storm, the perfect combination of different items to, uh, to put in here to keep that ball in there hundred percent of the time. But anyways, so you're going to start out with blender glitching two watertight doors from this corner here and this corner here. So we're going to grab our watertight doors. I guess I could be a good tutorialist. Is that even a word, tutorialist? It is now. So grab your watertight door, which you can't see right now because Hello Games is awesome. Toggle through your wire, place one end of the wire in the corner that you're blender glitching from. So this is gonna be at a 45 degree angle to our center point. And then place your wire connector in there. Don't place the item, don't connect the wire, don't do anything like that, but wire glitch with your toggle wire button and your build button. Same time, bing, bang, boom. Do the exact same thing from the other side. That is our main uh, containment for the sphere that's going to be dropped down from this position. These two doors and as well as, which I don't know if I'm going to put in here, we'll see in a moment. These bad boys right here, these cuboid room separators or whatever the heck they're called. What are they called? Uh, inner door, cuboid inner door. These bad boys contain the ball very, very, very well. But what I've learned is that these two, in addition to these doors, um, make it so the ball drops down and then doesn't move. It just remains stationary, like perfectly locks it into place. I don't want that. You guys may want that, so go ahead and do that. I don't want that. I want the ball to jump around and spin around and look like it's, it's going crazy in there without popping out. Uh, give me some movement so it looks like an engine or, uh, you know, something like that. Um, like some sort of sci-fi engine or a core or what, 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 what not. Wow, words. Anyways, once you have those done, you're going to go ahead and stay in your prefab menu. Then grab yourself a glass tunnel. Not the vertical one yet. Not the vertical one yet. The regular one. And then we are going to just simply blender glitch from the back to this position now. Like so. Okay. Easy enough. Fair enough. Got it. Next. There's a couple of different things we can do. We can either use more watertight doors if you want it to be nice and bright and blender glitch from your center point to the outside like this, so you have even more green light play facing towards the center around your ball. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. These two don't have a wide enough collision detection to affect the ball in the center, but what I'm gonna do next very well might. Um, I like to take two of the base teleporters and blender glitch in the exact same way we just did. From the center out to these 90 degree points, here and here. I like this because this little animation right here, when they have power. Oh, they don't have power. Um, let's give this bad boy power then. Uh, 
Oh, they all have power now. Okay, this little animation here, it looks like it's sucking just energy right out of the air and putting it into the, the Heisenberg core we have here. I absolutely love it and I highly suggest it. But you gotta be careful, make sure that they are normal size and make sure that they are at least one half floor distance away because the collision detection, the invisible collision detection of the base teleporters is pretty wide and it can really mess with the ball, um, or the, the, sorry, the sphere. So be careful of that. Next, um, oh, and by the way, I should probably mention that there is some sort of correlation between the order that you put things in here um, and what the ball detects first when it falls down. But the big problem with that, uh, after experimenting around and trying to figure out what is the best placement order or build order for these items is the second that you save and reload as as the game is reloading all the parts into the base it does its own load order so it completely messes up any order that you built anything in so it's kind of a moot task to to, to try and put everything in the exact order that you need to because it's all even if you do it in the exact perfect way the second you save and reload the game's just going to load its own items in its own order so it kind of bollocks that up um so next we're going to grab a vertical glass and be sure to blender glitch from the back side, giggity, and connect it to this point, meow, to your center point. Um, this way, the, uh, well, actually, you know what? I remembered that wrong. Scratch that. Everybody, ignore what I just said. Um, oh, that just deleted something else, didn't it? Oh, it deleted the damn watertight doors. Didn't it? Did it? It did. Didn't it? It did. I think it did. Let's put those back. Yeah, there we go. All right. Did you uh, not delete my stuff, game? That'd be great. Okay, so there we go. We got those back. Now we're going to grab the... What did I just grab? Memory. Vertical glass thing. Okay, so if we pulled from the back in the and the, the, the base of it was to the right, pull from the right side over meow and pull to your center like that. That's what you want. So the back of it has this little, the little base stand thing so it's not poking out to the left or right or the front. Or if you wanted it to the front... Um, you could just blender glitch from the right or the left side and pull it here if you want those little the little floor things. I mean, I guess those those could look like a panel or something. You could put some lights or a, a computer or something on them. That might look all right. We'll see. We can look at it from the back here in a minute. So uh, this is the basic setup: um, two glass tunnels, one vertical, one horizontal. Two watertight doors pulled from a 45 degree angle to the center. Um, and then two base teleporters on either side. You can also do the, the secondary lights like I did, or the secondary uh, doors like I did, but not necessary. Now, lastly, we're going to place our sphere generator right here. Just wire glitch it into position, and then that gives you the power connector on the back end. I'm just going to, uh, I don't want it connected to perpetual power. I want it connected to a button like this. So I've got this this button over here that has the the power output right here. So I'm going to connect this bad boy to a wire connected to my ball generator. And with any sort of luck, this is not going to embarrass me the first time I push this. So here we go. There we go. So looks like this combination keeps it in place perfectly, but it's slowly rotating, which is kind of cool. Um, but also, I'm going to show you here in a moment, the way that you look at it can change the speed of it. How close or far away you are to it can change the speed of it. Um, and also a save and reload can change the speed of it and change whether or not it works. So, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to make myself an honest man and show you just how much it doesn't work 100% of the time. So we're going to do a cheeky save and reload. And, uh... You know, with any amount of luck, it'll still work, and I'll look uh, awesome. It's not gonna work. Hundred bucks says it's not gonna work. You guys have to sub to my channel if it works. Ah, uh, well, it worked. It's a little off center though, for some reason. So basically, what has happened, like I said a moment ago, is the game, when it saves. It doesn't save the order that you put the build items. All it does is it saves the global position, the XYZ position and the direction of each item you put. It loads the, the I, I don't know what prioritize, what it may or may not prioritize when it loads things. I don't know what the load order is, but if I did, that might be a lot more beneficial in designing something like this. But for some reason, it looks like it loaded things on this right side 
a little bit differently than the left side and now its collision detection is a little bit off when the ball generates and drops. That's why it's a little bit off centered. And it looks like there, if there's something in this area down here that is shoving the ball a little bit backwards. I wonder if one of these wires, no, that wire's down, way down below, there's no way. But I did, oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I forgot an item. There's one item that is very, very key to this whole thing. This, the appearance modifier, Blender glitched in from the back to the front, like from, say, about, not that one. Yep, yeah, that one. From here to the center. There we go. That bad boy keeps it lower and gives it a little bit of, uh, you know, gusto. See, now look at that. All right. Well, that'll do it for this tutorial. Um, I would really like it if you guys uh, subscribed. One, first and foremost. I wouldn't be a good content creator if I didn't ask for that. To hit that like button uh, and leave a comment saying like what combinations you've experimented with this that work. Let me know which ones don't work and I'll probably do another tutorial regarding this type of thing in the future with a little bit more fine tuned um, um, and more diagnostic uh, information than what I've given you here. Um, and uh, I'm sorry to say this is all the information I've gotten after about two weeks of working with this but it's definitely a lot more than I had to get started. So. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.